You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Welcome back to AM Live. I'm Monique Grazade, and we have some fabulous gals from Operation Care. And we have Anna Garcia. Hi. And we also have Natalie Vetter. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thanks so much for getting up early and coming on to Thanks speak with you. us. It's a pleasure. So we have some new classes going on at Operation Care. Our summer youth program wrapped up at the beginning of August, and we've since transitioned our kids into the anti-bullying class and the chrysalis girls class. Okay. Um, and that will run for 12 weeks until I believe it ends in the middle of November. Mm -hmm. And um, the chrysalis girls group is about self-esteem, empowerment, living a healthy lifestyle. Um, it does cover sexual assault because that's one of our main focuses. Mm -hmm. um, things like that that girls within the junior high and high school age range would like to talk about or like more information about and they don't necessarily know where to go to get that information. Mm -hmm. And then the anti-bullying um, class, it's about teaching the kids how to recognize bullying, prevent it, report it, um, be an ally, um, be an active, by don't be a bystander, be an active bystander, so be engaged and um, involved mm -hmm. and help people out, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and right now we have, I think we had nine girls on Monday in Chrysalis. And then we have another class today at 3.30 for bowling, and we're hoping to have the same 11 that we had last week. So, Female or mixed? Um, Chrysalis is just girls, mm -hmm. and then bowling is mixed. So mm -hmm. right now we have, um, last week we had nine boys, or nine girls and two boys. Mm -hmm. So That's great. Yeah, so we're hoping more boys come. I hope, um, yeah, I hope they get more involved. There's incentives for bringing friends, so if there's kids out there, if they bring a friend, they get an incentive. What type of incentives? Um, so that a some gift cards oh, and nice. some goodies like that. Mm -hmm. so that makes it fun. They'll come. Right. Um, and that's kind of what we've got going on for classes right now. Mm -hmm. uh, another big activity that we have coming up is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. When is that? Um, it is October. Oh. All of October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to being Bully Prevention Month and probably a whole list, list of, of other things. months. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we're doing our second annual Purple Soldier Run again this year. Mm, what's that about? Um, it's uh, it's a 5K run walk um, that we hold at the Rancheria we held last year. And it's just to raise awareness of domestic violence um, and effort to prevent it from happening in our community so people are aware of what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. Proceeds from it go directly to our domestic violence programs in-house. and. Um, it's going to be held on October 25th this year. Okay. Um, it's a nighttime event, so it's a glow run. Oh, that's yeah, fun. So I like to run at fun. night. Yes. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, and mm -hmm. then we have other activities. We have the cycle of violence and What's that? Um, things like that. Do you want to talk about the cycle of violence? Um, so we set up a 3D um, exhibit in our um, office mm -hmm. that um, represents the three cycles of violence, the tension stage where you're walking on eggshells and mm -hmm. um, just making the other person happy, doing whatever, and then um, it goes into the violence stage where um, the eruption or violence happens and um, shows just the um, the different ways that can be happening. And then um, goes into the honeymoon phase. It shows how everything's wonderful, apologies and mm -hmm. you know, sorries and. Um, it's the honeymoon so everything is good and so we'll be setting that up and having um, walkthroughs um, during the month of the first two weeks of October oh wonderful mm -hmm. and is that open all the time certain hours um, yeah it will be open um, for the first two weeks during our office hours yeah, so okay eight to five. yeah mm -hmm. so eight to five and um, we'll just walk people through it explain it and so you encouraging parents to bring their teenagers out to look at these displays and see what's going on it can be like a family thing where everybody walks through as well it can this year we're setting it from a child's perspective so it might be a little bit more heavy but parents should be prepared for that when they come in mm -hmm. anybody in the public that comes in just be prepared that it's not a light topic mm -hmm. and if you're coming in just be prepared that you might see something that might stir up emotions or be upsetting but we do have crisis counselors that are on staff during that period so if you walk through and it does trigger something mm -hmm. we're available there available 
um, there on site to help kind of process through what you saw and what you're feeling and things like that. Wow, that's amazing that you do that. I really I think that's so beneficial because just the smallest thing, it can be a sound or um, something that you see that can bring things up from your past. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people will internally hide things for years and years and years and that there's that one thing that snaps it right back to that moment that it happened. Mm -hmm. So it's a really generous offer to have crisis counselors there in case someone needs it. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to go back really quick to the uh, Chrysalis Girls Club, and I think that it's so important for our young people today to be made aware of what domestic violence is, what sexual assault is, um, but more importantly, even so, is how to have self-esteem, how to be your own person, to feel good about who you are. There's so many young people that have such low self-esteem. I'm not sure where it comes from, but... It's, you, there's usually not enough resources out there. They don't know about it. So how do you change that pattern of thought? And so that's what you provide. Yeah, we, how do you do that? We have a curriculum that we follow, but for the most part, it's just talking to them, reassuring them. You know, a lot of times the, the girls that come to us, they don't have like a, a strong female role model in their life that they can trust 100% and be able to talk about these things and so we try and give that to them mm -hmm. yeah we're complete strangers when they walk into our room but by the end of the class you know we're some of the closest people to them and they're able to share things with us and ask us questions and know that they're going to get honest and um, truthful feedback from us we're not mm -hmm. going to candy coat anything and they'll get real answers from us oh, that's so important that's so important it's, it's hard to be vulnerable with anyone you know at any age but um, these gals knowing that they can trust you and tell you everything's going on, not be judged and mm -hmm. feel comfortable. That's that's a great benefit. And then the bullying club, how do you how do you manage that? Um, again, we have a curriculum that we follow, and we just um, um, we do a lot of interaction with the kids and get their their feedback in it as well, and find out what's going on in their schools and how they're handling things, mm -hmm. and um, just different ways that they think they can handle it, and um, we encourage them to use their voices mm -hmm. and to be the um, the change on their campus if they see the stuff going Give on. Give us a phone number so if parents have questions, people want to call, who do we contact? Uh, Operation Care 223-2897. Well, Anna, Natalie, thank you very much for being on the show. I mm -hmm. love the information. We want to get this out to everybody in the community because it is really, really important. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing a little bit more about the run in October. We'll be back Great. And we're going to go over to Richard Forster at District 2 for his meeting summary report. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.